Hello friends and once again welcome to bsvsolutions.com My name is Amit and today I am going to show you yet another simple example of import script. This is an example for beginners and in this example we are continuing to loading data into SVSQ and the source is coming from flat file. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and in subsequent session I will show you how to load data from from PeopleSoft and Oracle EBS and JD Edward. Today example is fairly simple. This is an extension of my previous class session. So if you look at my PPT, this is my sample data file and I have got time dimension, measures, product, market, scenario and this is your data. If you look at carefully, a major dimension has sales hyphen 001. 001 basically the source ID. Uh, in my example, the sales, the data is coming from multiple sources. In order to recognize data is coming from which source, the source ID has been appended with your major. 001 is one source, 002 is another source. So when I want to load data into SBase Cube, I would like to eliminate or truncate this data. So the same example I shown you in a previous video. Uh, this time we are going to use the same thing in a different way. So you see I use a custom defined import script and def name of your function and it takes two arguments. One is your dimension member name or field name and complete record name. So this is a complete record from here to here. It's a complete record. And your specific field name is like January product New York they are specific field. So this argument takes this function takes two argument field name and complete record. You see I use a variable over here set list and I'm using a split function. I'm splitting this field. It means whichever field you associate this function is they split this field into multiple uh, array members depends upon what delimiter you use or split character. I use a hyphen over here. So what will happen the entire field will split based on this split character which is hyphen. So when it is split into a split character it turns out to be an array. Right so it, it turns out to be two member. As you see split sales major into sales and 001 and the output is going to store in sec list. Sec list turns out to be an array with zero fill is called sales and first fill name or index number is 001. So you split the entire string into two pieces sales and 001. You can also use strip function over here. Strip function I use in this context along with sec list zero which is your sales to truncate your leading and trailing spaces. In addition to strip you can use L strip and R strip as the name indicate. These methods are used for removing any character from both end of your string. And if you don't if the characters to be removed are not specified as I did not specify any character to be removed then white space will be removed. So if I have any white spaces either left side or right side of my sales it would be removed. This is basic script. Now let's see how to use it. So I'm using the same example. You look at my source is sample basic which has got five dimension year major product market scenario corresponding this this is my source file and the straightforward one-to-one -one mapping January is year this is your measures 110 is your product market and scenario this is your data this data file i'm going to load into my space queue right so the basic function steps are continue to be same you open your fdme data management and the basic step which we did in previous session is continue to be same i define source as my flat file target is my space queue and the mapping is straightforward one-to-one -one mapping. Uh, in our case, major 
dimension is account type and rest all the dimension except here are generic type so this is a straightforward one-to-one -one mapping there is no complication associated with this in import format I use the source file and define my source file is a delimited file with common separator and this is your mapping information you can see this clearly for example amount is position number six market comes to four field number I specify along with each dimension member name so this is going to be straightforward what is important thing and point to be paid attention is a major if you look at major there's a custom defined script is written called pass major.py so when you go to your script editor the script which I shown you you can see over here under import option same script fairly simple uh, name of your function takes two argument field name and record name the field will be split based on a split character hyphen and I'm going to return the zero field and remove leading and training y space well if you're new to Python and you you scared or feel uncomfortable writing script in Python there's one easy way you can use it there's a Python online cloud-based interface is available you can use this called pythonfable.com and there you the script which you want to run it if you're not sure whether it works or not you can copy and paste the script over here right and in this case I'm going to use what is my fill my fill name is sales hyphen 001 and the second column name in this example is record name record is empty so I need not pass any argument I'm going to leave it blank you can leave it blank as passing empty string and then you can do print and what do you want to print it you can see over here I like to print I like to call this major with these two arguments so I call this print and I call this measure the name of function with these two argument and you see these are two variable str field and s record str same argument I pass over here so this way you ensure that the script you have written is syntactic correct or, correct or not right I am ready to execute this I use a name of a major is pass major pass major and these two argument ready run it so you see you pass sales hyphen 001 and output is sales I mean this is your job especially when you're not good at scripting and you're beginning with writing a basic scripting so before you actually put into FDME and struggle along struggle with a complex log file interpretation you can quickly run it over here pythonfiddle.com so I found my script is good I just copy and paste the script in my FDME script editor under screw import script you save it and then you can continue because this is import script therefore you can define the script under your import format under your import format under measures alright so I define the the mapping of the script under my measures right and under workflow this is all I have done I define data load mapping is a straightforward one-to-one -one mapping you see I use a like operator same as my previous example star star for market major you know no complex expression written over here is a straightforward mapping and data load rule also I define the name of the file I straightforward define the name of my data file that's it okay so before I run this I already run this uh, for the sake of testing before I actually demonstrate this I remove all the data from my space queue so there is no data right I'm going to run it again and we'll see the output so you can click on execute and well I like to import this from my source and put into my staging table then enter and load into my target and this time I'm going to load this data for the month of January 
right single period data load and uh, then I continue to refresh if everything go good it turns out to be green color and I can see the mapping information the data load workbench it might take some time it turns out to be green it means my metadata data load is done I can go quickly to data load workbench and check the output I see the mapping so my source file was sales 001 it turns out to be sales which map to sales and rest all the mapping are straightforward sales map to sales product map to product market scenario and amount right to so import validate and export all done successfully now you can go to your excel smart view and check the output this is your data right look at the intersection is same this is january data for january data for my uh, major sales for product 110 120 130 these are alias actually the product name cola diet cola and caffeinate free cola for actual new york so you see how simple it is to get started with scripting these are the basic example for the beginners as you proceed further i'm going to show you more complex example so stay tuned should you have any question please feel free to write to us our site is bispsolutions.com thank you and have a great day ahead